Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. We are once again having tea on the veranda. <laughs> We're just going to think of new and interesting words to use for my back deck. <laughs> Trying to make it fancier than what it actually is. So today's tea was sent to me in Happy Mail all the way from Montana. I showed this in Happy Mail video two or three weeks ago. This is evening in Missoula, and it is gourmet herbal tea, caffeine-free, 24 bags. I do two bags at a time because I am serving this iced because it's hot outside and I don't want anything hot to drink. <laughs> we are filming at an unusual time because I have something I wanted to show you guys during Happy Mail, or not, it's not Happy Mail. I wanted to open a package that I ordered and I wanted to have some tea with you guys and I could not wait until next weekend to film it because I'm really anxious to get into this bag so I'm actually filming this Wednesday of last week <laughs> so we're super early but I could not wait so we're pre-filming way pre-filming Tuesday tea with cinnamon this tea has chamomile rose hips lemongrass papaya leaf peppermint blackberry leaf raspberry leaf spearmint leaf lemon peel, alfalfa, wild cherry bark, wintergreen, star anise, vanilla, lavender, red clover, and stevia. So stevia is um, a sweetener, <laughs> so it probably doesn't need extra sugar. Um, and we're steeping it as of right now. It is hot. I put it in a measuring cup because this doesn't spill as easily if I go cup to cup. But because it's got that beautiful little spout, I pour it without spilling it all over myself. Smart thinking. Now, while that's steeping, I have a package. And the reason I have this is because I, I mentioned to you guys that last week, well, it's two weekends ago now by the time you guys are seeing this video, that I ordered yarn from an LYS, but not an LYS to me. So LYS stands for local yarn shop. And my favorite local yarn shop is in Culpeper, Virginia. It is Knitwit. She has been closed for several weeks now because she is moving locations from one storefront to another storefront. So she was actually closed on national local yarn shop day so I could not shop with her so I was like okay well what's my next favorite LYS that I would like to support and I was like Michigan Fine Yarns hands down Michigan Fine Yarns is who I'm going to support for LYS day so this is from LYS very ex not LYS Michigan Fine Yarns MFY and I'm very excited now I'm going to pre-warn you wow they really taped the heck out of this with some good tape I appreciate good packing, but I did not bring my scissors out. And I'm having a bad arthritis day. Um, I have lost most of the grip in my thumb, this joint specifically. As of very recently, I can't grip anything. Oh, maybe there's a hole in this bag. Hang on. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. So while I appreciate, and this is a heavy-duty poly mailer who that was intense okay i'm gonna pre-warn you last time that i shopped at michigan fine yarns i was trying to show yarns of all purchase levels if you will so that you guys could get an understanding that she did carry yarns for all price points i mean i think the lowest price yarn that she that I purchased from her last time I think was $8, but then my sister also purchased yarn for $3. So she has all price points. But this time I was all about supporting my girl, Swarin, and I was all about buying myself some things that I have been eyeballing for a while that I really, really wanted. So my receipt does not have prices. Um, Oh, my package was packaged by Anita. So thank you, Anita. Um, there's a little note in there just saying thank you for supporting our small business. So um, this is not cheap yarn. 
and I'm not talking like cheap like crappy yarn I mean this was expensive yarn and so just keep that in mind <laughs> when I'm showing this to you um, these were purchases I saved up for I believe my grand total for this purchase I don't remember exactly what I spent but it was not cheap <laughs> one thing in here cost $75 so just keep that in mind keep that in mind I'm working on um, at least in my head right now I'm working on a um, project that involves a certain brand of yarn that she carries that I have absolutely fallen in love with and so I'm collecting minis of these yarns because I really really like the yarn now before I say that I also ordered some yarn that was not super pricey it wasn't 75 dollars these were seven dollars a piece but i ordered them because they are universal yarns and universal yarn has been showing these because they're a new yarn and then on top of it michigan fine yarns has been showing these yarns because it's a new yarn and they just got it in and i was eyeballing them and i was totally in love with them and i was like okay it's the same price whether i order it from universe direct universal directly or from michigan fine yarns so i opted to pay the seven dollars a ball and buy it at Michigan Fine Yarns and I have no regrets. <laughs> now if you are unfamiliar Universal Yarns is the parent company to Premier Yarns so I'm very very familiar with Universal Yarns. I love Universal Yarns. I don't buy it very often because like Premier is more affordable for most instances and so I do love Universal. I just don't purchase it very often. Now this is under the Rico design label, but it's it comes from Universal. This is advertised from Universal Yarns, and I'm gonna have to adjust my light so that you guys can really see this yarn. This yarn is called Lazy Hazy Summer Cotton. I fell absolutely in love with these colors. It is a 50 gram ball, it's 49% cotton, 46% acrylic. This yarn is made in Belgium. I these colors are so so me because it's got that beautiful like peachy color and it's got that beautiful like baby blue and there's some yellow in there I fell in love with this yarn and I was like I kept seeing it online I kept seeing Universal post about it I kept seeing Michigan Fine Yarns post about it and then I was like all right that's gonna be one of my yarns that I buy for our national LYS day or maybe it's an international LYS day. I have no idea. So this is, let me see if I can find the information. This is Farba 001 and Party 13. So I'm thinking, I don't know what that means. I don't know, I'm not even gonna pretend. So that's what that says. One of those is color, I'm guessing. One of them is lot. Uh, let's see what else what else I think that means that it's a worsted weight or maybe that requires a four millimeter needle and hook I don't think this is worsted at all I think it's a DK I have no idea how to read this label but that's okay oh if there's also 5% polyester so 49 cotton 46 acrylic 5% polyester It'll take 40 balls <laughs> to make a sweater. Good thing I don't want to make a sweater out of this. I don't really know what I'm going to make with this, but I wanted to try it out. And it's just so pretty. Look at those colors. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's very summery. So, 145 meters. It's not a whole lot per ball. But it's really pretty, so. I'm sure I will find something to do with that. If, if I even have to mix it with another yarn, that is perfectly fine and make a bigger project. And then I got this, and this is almost in the same colors, right? <laughs> this is almost in the same colors. This is the Quega yarn, Quega Jasmine. Quega is the the maker and the jasmine is the yarn and it is 100 percent merino wool it is 242 yards 100 grams 3.3 3.5 to 4 millimeter 
or US 6 knitting needles. Hand wash, lay flat, flat to dry. There is the color number right there. But isn't that so pretty? It's so pretty. And I just, I really, really like these colors. And I think I picked this color specifically because it did seem so similar to the lazy, hazy cotton summer. Aren't those pretty? I would totally, because I like mixing fibers, I would totally put these in a project together. I don't remember how much this cost. <laughs> I'm going to say around 20 some dollars, maybe. Um, but yeah, it feels like a nice wool. It's not, it's not scratchy at all. It's not buttery soft, but it's, it feels like a really nice quality wool. And I really like the Quega yarns because they have really good twist in the yarn. Well, all the ones that I possess. So keep an eye. You're going to see Quega again because that's what else I ordered. Girls, girls, go, go. You have dandelion fuzzies on your face, weirdo. Go on. Exit. Nosy. So the next two things that I ordered are also Quega. <laughs> I ordered what they call a paint can. And I believe this was 30, $35 if I remember. But they were having a LYS sale, so everything that I got was 10% off. Now, mini skeins are kind of expensive um, under normal circumstances. I have gotten Madeline Tosh um, minis that I paid like $6 a piece for, and some of my Quaggy, Quag, Quaggy, my Quagga, um, I'm gonna call them a half skein because they're like half the size of this. I paid like seven or $11 for from Michigan Fine Yarns, but these are, these are truly minis. And this was $35, and it comes in this cute little paint can, Quega, and it is a rainbow colorway. There we go. So, these are the KPPPM, so the Quega KPPPM, whereas that one's Jasmine. They have the ones that I also have in the other room, are KPPMs. Okay, three P's and an M. 100% <laughs> Merino, there's five of them, and this paint can is called Magic Hero. So that's the name of the yarn, this is the brand of the yarn. It comes this real cool little paint can. I've ordered paint cans before. They're kind of gimmicky, but at the same time they're really cute. And this has <laughs> all these beautiful I'm going to get these out and I know I'm not going to be able to put them back in. All these beautiful minis. And I'm making something with minis, which is why I ordered these. Yeah, pink. I dropped the lid. And then there's purple. And at the bottom, if I can reach it, the blue. So that is the minis. The minis are absolutely stunning. They have these gorgeous, I like the Quegu yarn so much. I like the way it feels. I love the twist in it. And I love the variety of the color in each skein. I just think these are so beautiful. And let's see, what does the little tag say? Each one of these, are 100% merino wool, 87 yards per each one of these. That's, I mean, that's not bad, that's 87 yards. So it comes with those beautiful five colors that I will try to figure out how to get back in this can. <laughs> There's a very good chance it's just gonna sit on my table like that, but it's good. All right, since we're running out of room, I'm gonna ice my tea so we can taste it, and then I will show you the final thing that I bought that was $75. <laughs> However, I did get 10% off. You want some tea, baby? I'm sure there's something in here that's poisonous to you, so go away. The dogs are super, super... 
In my face. Hey, quiet. Mama. That is the beautiful color we're getting. Give it a stir. I was talking to Mr. Cinnamon the other day. There's this tea. We went. We go to a restaurant in Disney World um, called Jico, which stands for the cooking place. It is um, African-based uh, cuisine, but I believe there it's it's also like um, African with Indian influences in it and they serve they used to serve they quit serving it they used to serve this really beautiful glass cup and they would serve room temperature tea that had like rose in it and stuff and it was so delicious and i'm like god i wish i could figure out what kind of tea that they used to serve because it was so good <clears throat> and i would love a glass of that right now that is very good i have tea that is similar flavors to this you can really taste the vanilla and the mint so i'm getting the winter green very much and the vanilla a lot i'm not getting a lot of the other flavors wow this is delicious and it's very refreshing mm. you guys gotta try that this comes from the company montana tea and spice trading llc their website is montanatea.com. Gotta try that. That is very good. All right, now finally, this is Quega as well. And I saw these when I was in the store, so I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> and Mr. Cinnamon actually helped me. Oh, the box got damaged. Oh, that's too bad. I kind of had a feeling that it being in a um, vinyl mailer that it would get it would get a little damage to it but I, mr cinnamon helped me pick out the colorway because there's so many of these that are absolutely stunning and i couldn't decide which one i wanted to get you can tell <laughs> it's got fuzzies on it from the other yarns um colorway peacock and i i i got the rainbow in this so i got a little bit more of a variety of colors but i think the yellow tell me the yellow is not going to fit in with that or that pink right the green they're all gonna fit in with this so mr. cinnamon actually helped me pick this one he said the, the reason that he picked this one is this end is so vibrant and I tend to agree with him so once again these are the minis I really wish that plastic hadn't goddamn it or the box is like really ripped up but because I was gonna display this before I used it I like to display stuff, but that's all right. It's all right. So these are absolutely. Look at the look at that color. Like, hello, is that not beautiful? This is gonna work up into such a beautiful project. And then there's like this beautiful teal color. It's actually more like that. So closer I get to the light, the lighter it gets. But it's more like this color. And I believe I have this one. I am almost positive I have this colorway in there. If not, I have one very similar. So these are all going to intermix very beautifully into a project together. Is that not beautiful pastel rainbowies? Yeah, let's do it that way. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's actually a little more vibrant than it should. There we go. That's a little bit better. Isn't that beautiful? This one's my favorite. <laughs> Is that not gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Oh. How they get that many colors on these tiny little skeins, I have no idea. And they feel so, so good in my hands. Now, um, when I was at Michigan Fine Yarns, oh, that almost matches the background. Matches all that. When I was at Michigan Fine Yarns, I was talking to Swarin, the owner, <laughs> the amazing owner. Um, we are talking about the Quega yarns because she has a enormous, if you have not checked out my last video, I will link it. Go check that out. There's an entire wall of the bigger size ones of these. <clears throat> so many, many colors that she has solids. She has variegated 
and she said that when she showed the display to Quega, they were surprised how many colorways, is that not gorgeous, that she had because she, I fully believe she has more colorways than any other store anywhere. Now Quega is a Canadian company for my Canadian viewers out there. They are available in a lot of, and I did check this out, if you go to Quega's website, you can get Quega in a lot of Canadian stores. For those of you that are in Canada, lots of places you can get this. Not so many places in the United States. But you can get it in Michigan Fine Yarns. Is this not beautiful? Okay, this camera is not do doing this justice. It is even deeper and bolder than what it's showing. That's what it looks like. <laughs> that is the color. And there's little, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. They're so, so saturated. And then finally, this one. See how there's little bits of like, hints of color? All right, now I'm gonna give you an overview of the box once again. This is so stunning to me and I'm so glad I saved up for this. Cause this was like the best, cause it's about to be Mother's Day. <laughs> By the time you see this, it will be it will be past Mother's Day, but like I feel like this is a Mother's Day gift to myself, and I deserve it. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Is that not beautiful? I'm looking over here at myself because I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. It's so vibrant. Then you get this little beauty. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> so pretty. So that is what I ordered from Michigan Fine Yarns. And yes, it was expensive. And yes, it was worth every penny. Um, I don't very often treat myself to expensive yarns. And they are expensive yarns. I'm not going to sugarcoat that this was not an expensive purchase. And that I know that there are people on here that are watching this and go, wish I could afford that. I get it. I really do. Because... Um, <clears throat> Before, I never, I never, I don't want to put that back in the bag. It's too pretty. I never would have purchased that for myself. I wouldn't have in the past. And now I'm starting to get to where I'm like, okay, I got rid of a lot of yarn. I got rid of a lot of yarn in my deep, deep clean of my yarn room. And I just want to surround myself with things that bring me joy that I'm going to use. And I really, from the time I bought the first set of Quega, I knew I wanted to work with this yarn and I wanted to make a big shawl. And I'm debating whether I want to knit or crochet it because the idea of knitting a big giant shawl scares me. Because I'm not. That is really good. I'm not. I don't feel experienced enough to make garments with knitting yet. And I know that sounds so stupid to some of you because I can make stuff. I'm scared of knitting still, and I don't know why, especially when it comes to these expensive, these more pricey yarns, because I don't want to waste them, and I don't want to use them in something I don't like, you know, and, you know, I just don't want to waste them. So, these go so well together. I don't know what I'm going to do with any of these, but that is so pretty, so pretty. This will probably be knit up because I think that this would make a very beautiful cowl to go around my neck. Very pretty. Shoot, this might be a cowl too. I don't even know. I don't even know. But there's, I got lots, I got lots of ideas. I got lots of ideas. So, you know, I would like to know in the comments, did you guys support an LYS <laughs> for National Yarn Shop? Na National... I don't know, LYS day, whatever, that, whatever. Did you support an LYS? And if so, what did you purchase? I'm not expecting everybody to like blow hundreds of dollars on yarn for LYS day, but I knew it was coming and I knew right off the bat, as soon as they started advertising that they were gonna have specials and stuff for LYS day, I was like, I know where my money's going for LYS day. I know what I wanna buy already. I just knew ahead of time. It, and because there's so much product from Michigan Fine Yarns on their website, it can absolutely feel overwhelming. I think that's why having visited the store was so beneficial to me, and I really wish I could have went 
I, honestly, if I could have, I would have drove to Michigan and spent National LYS Day at Michigan Fine Yards because that would have been amazing. Um, but I just, I had to, I had to support them, especially since my favorite store was closed because I would have went, I would have very gladly went and visited her. I love Knitwit. Knitwit in Culpeper, Virginia, it's a good store. They're definitely worthy of um, supporting as well. But yeah, I wanted to show you. I could not wait. I could not wait. I told Mr. Cinnamon, because it's dinner time. I should probably be in there cooking dinner. I was like, I can't wait. I need to open this now because I was so excited about this. This, Well, both of these. Both of these sets. So pretty. So I'm going to let them sit and be pretty for a little bit. And then I'm going to cake them up with some of my others. And I am going to work on just something. Something. It's going to be magnificent. And it's going to be something just for me. <laughs> So, with all of that, thank you so much for joining me. If you have not already, check out Michigan Fine Yarns. I will link them below. They have a YouTube. They have an Instagram. They have a Facebook. They have a website with all of these beautiful things on them. So, if you have the ability to and you want to order yourself one of these beautiful kits. <laughs> I know some of you think I'm crazy because $75, but if not... They have 20 something dollars, but they also have, I think they're $11 for, I believe, the thicker. They're not these mini skeins. They're like double this size. So, and those are, oh, dang it. Absolutely beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. So check out my other video if you want to see what the other Quigga yarns look like. The, the smaller Hanks. They're somewhere between here <laughs> and this size. So it's in the middle of these two sizes for like $11. It's an amazing deal. This yarn feels so good in my hands. So with all of that, check out Michigan Fine Yarns. And if you do, tell her I said hello. And um, yeah, check out Michigan, not Michigan, MontanaTea.com. This tea is delicious. Evening in Missoula. And we also have a tutorial coming up Thursday for Piao, our premier yarn of the week. <laughs> I made a beautiful shawl that some of you have seen on pretty much all of my social medias. It is a lilac colored shawl, but it is coming across very pink. <laughs> but I made the Phoenix shawl. I finally gave you guys the tutorial for the Phoenix shawl. That will be up Thursday. And uh, we have some more exciting things coming up this week. I just can't talk about it just yet because they have not arrived yet. But rest assured, I'm waiting. We, we got things coming up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.